tell me a couple of good things that you've experienced with the cochlear implant over the last couple weeks? A few days ago I was in a conference of a sort. The speaker, she was talking and all of a sudden she said the word is in her sentence. She didn't overpronounce it or anything like that, but I was looking at her and I was reading her lips and I heard the word is for the first time. Um, I could actually hear the letter S. And before it's always been eh. It's always sounded like eh to me. And I actually heard the whole word. And it uh, surprised me so much that I was sitting there for the next five or ten minutes just in, in, in a kind of a wonder and just thinking about it, what I had just heard, that I completely missed what she was talking about. <laughs> Screwed me up. <laughs> uh, have you heard any other words that have struck you like that, that you're like, hey, I've never heard that word before, or that sound? There's been a couple of things that I noticed. Before this past Monday, um, I noticed that at the dinner table, I was able to pick up a little bit more. Um, I noticed at the dinner table that I could uh, catch a little bit more quickly what everybody was saying. Of course, when the kids get excited, sometimes they're talking too fast. Okay, I don't know the joke. Even worse than like you going to kill a spider and it just disappearing. No, you know mm -hmm. it's like it's multiplying. So. But you were able to maybe, maybe you didn't get your head swivel around or read somebody's lips fast enough, but you still kind of caught what they were saying yeah. before you actually even had to read their lips. So that's a good plus. So I understand that over the last week or so, you had a little bit of a setback. You want to talk about that? Uh, yes, a bit of a setback. I haven't been able to wear the cochlear implant but for maybe 45 minutes to an hour at a time. It's been a couple of days I had to go without it completely. I had an MRI due to another health issue not related to the cochlear implant. So, uh -huh. um, I think in the uh, usual case, if you have a cochlear implant, you probably would never have another MRI. While I was in the machine, things started heating up in here. I don't think it moved anything around, but it heated it up pretty good. So you think you kind of got a almost like a sunburn underneath your skin or a, a little bit of a burn yeah. from, from the metal pieces in the machine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's hard to tell because there's no way for the smoke to escape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of like almost getting a blister under the skin or something. Yeah. Nowhere to go. It's got to be reabsorbed. So. No, uh, so every time I put it, I, every every time since then that I put on the cochlear implant, um, it uh, it feels like it starts. It feels like I'm back in the MRI machine again, and mm -hmm. it starts burning, and it also hurts uh, right back here. Uh huh. So I've had to take it off. I can only handle it for a little while. But the uh, Dodger Gerard seem to think they'll go away pretty soon, so. Uh, did you wear it today? Mm -hmm. Did you wear it today a little bit? I wore it today for a little bit while I was uh, shopping with Mackenzie at the mall. Had to take it off to take a break from it. I wore it last night at the, the gala. Yeah, that you had to take off because it got overwhelming. It was so loud. It was so loud. Yes, very loud. Appreciate it. Get a to look at Dr. Uh, and, uh... So we were at the gala, which is a formal event go, uh, put on by the school, the kids' school. So everybody's wearing their tuxes, in their formal gowns and stuff. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Hey, Ray, we'll see you at 1130 tonight. We're at 1130 tonight. 9,000. Wonderful night, wonderful meal. The food has arrived. But then the music started to play. <laughs> yeah, it was way, it was too loud for anybody in there. It was painful. <laughs> yeah. I think I looked at you and said, let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. We're done. I feel like I'm a week behind now. Hey, you were you know, 50 years behind when you started, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm in a hurry to catch up. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs>
I, I think your comprehension has gone up and I think the kids have noticed that your comprehension has gone up. I think this last week with you not wearing it has been more frustrating for me because I've been actually getting used to walking into another room still talking and you could understand me. <laughs> and, and now it, with, with you not wearing it, you couldn't you know, hear me, you, know, you couldn't understand me. So I kept having to come back in to tell you what I was um, talking about as I was walking away. <laughs> That you would say something, it would just walk out of the woods like, "Hello, <laughs> where, where, where are you live? What happened?" Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, baby. Good. <laughs> How was theater? Good. Are you guys about ready for your play? Nope. No. Twenty people were missing. Dinner table twice? Uh, no. Set the dinner table. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you edit that out? Yeah, I'll work on that.